video today. Um, I've got a swivel base from R&J Camper Solutions so for the front double seat. This is just so you can swivel it and have it spun around to your living area. Sort of open up the space a bit, they're really good. Uh, in our last van, which was a Sprinter, we had a similar base and that just swivels where it is. It just swivels at the same height. This particular van, because they are fitted with fuse boxes underneath the passenger seat, it means to have a swivel base, the seat needs to lift up and then spin and be dropped back down. It's quite a complicated swivel base. So they are quite expensive. It, it was 700 quid for just the base. However, nobody else does them. And I wouldn't really want to attempt to make it myself because it, it would take so much time to make something like this. And also safety at the same time. I'm gonna have my son in the front of the car and my partner, I don't really want to be risking it. I'll do a bit of a how-to video, see what's involved, how long it takes. I don't know how long it takes. It comes with instructions, so I'll go through these. In fact, now I'm a man, I, I don't read instructions. So let's just give it a go. Okay, remove fuse box cover. Remove all seat floor fixings, remove seat. So that's the first thing we'll do. Okay, so we have some bolts down there, bolt there, one bolt there, one there, and another one down there. They're all 16 mil, so I'm just going to get these out one minute. easy task. It's literally one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. Loosely install the M12 by 30mm bolt, like so. Nylon washer, spring washer and nut on the top. Now what they're saying is cut this corner out of your fuse box, which is fine. I can do that. However, these cables here, I need to wire all of these in, so I need to gain access to this again, and for my ignition live, um, and a few other things. So, I'm thinking I might actually just leave this out for the moment because once that's in place, you can't physically get this cover back on anyway. So I think I'm going to leave this out for a minute. to 45 millimetres with the torque wrench. Next step. So it has this supplied little nylon, a little, a big nylon washer. That goes on there to help it swivel. It's nice, I like that.
says to do this one up but not too tight but the mechanism doesn't work so Now that is clever. Woo. That is very clever. Right now I mentioned something about trimming something on the back of the seat. So I'll get the seat over and let's have a look. So seat's over. I believe it's this lip here because it will foul with the side of the fuse box so let's trim that so i'm going to try and use a multi-tool with a very blunt end because i'm too stingy to buy new tools for it just give this a go and see what it comes out like bolts that go on the bottom so on the here can you see that so those holes are countersunk because it sits flat on this plate so that's what the bolt looks like from underneath so it will be that bolt in a nut and a washer all the way around done And again, 45 newton meters with a torque wrench. There goes my ratchet. And there we go. So, as expected with any swivel base, it will lift the seat a little bit, but I think they've done a really good job of getting this bottom plate as low as they possibly can. It's a really tight fit, so just take a seat in here. It's not really that much high, to be honest. I mean, look at my headroom. I've got buckets of headroom, and I'm five foot eleven, five foot in a fag butt. As you can see, the height difference from the driver's seat is its not much at all. I don't think it's that noticeable. So to swivel this then, let's go right through it. And I'll try this with the headrests in. So I'll just drop them in a minute. So let's try this with the headrests in then. Give it a spin for the first time. Let's get that money shot. that drop these back lovely job I've got a step to go in here as well so my feet won't be dangling like a toddler. So they've cleverly designed it as well. So you've normally got four holes on the front. So when you spin it, you've only got two holes, but they've made sure that they still line up. So you can drop that in. 
and you've still got two that line up on the back as well so you can put four four back in to hold it nice and tight around the other way if you do have the different headliner then I think you just need to take your headrests out when you spin the seat and then put them back in once it's spun round now I'm going to have another look at this fuse box because I want full access to that I'm going to need to get to that quite a lot here's the fuse box cover that's the corner that they say for you to cut off I've cut it to the shape of this seat base here just cut it in half measured here to there it's about 160 and then the lower end here and then the higher end and just done a sweeping line added a couple millimetres on so that now when it's in like that you can't really see it I could have probably kept a bit there but then it's a bit harder to get in and out so I'm happy with that because it's covering all the fuses it's covering the relays if I do catch it with a seat by an accident it's in place it's clipped in this side and this piece is going to go back in once I modify it a bit more and it'll be clipped there as well so that's it for this video it was just a quick one so covering that seat base because I know a lot of people in the forums are always asking questions about it want to see pictures of them fitted wondering what the height is like how easy they are to swivel because I know I was so I, I was very reluctant to spend 700 pounds on a swivel base not really knowing much about it there is a waiting list for these there's about two months I had to wait for this. I just emailed the company RJ Camper Solutions and I got put on a list and then they email you when it's in stock, ready to ship. This isn't sponsored. I haven't been asked to make this video. I just thought it might be useful for a few people out there because I know it'd be useful if I was doing this all over again. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you like it even more, then just subscribe. See what's coming up next. Cheers and gone.